Hey there guys and thanks for joining me today as we're taking a look at how you can import your own edited models and import them into space engineers like a asteroid like you're seeing here. You could create your own shaped asteroids to make a game play field or just a randomly shaped asteroid or you can import them as a large ship, a small ship, a station, anything you'd like. I'm also going to be showing you how exactly you can import an image into Space Engineers for you to uh, use in any way that you want. So let's start with the basics. You're currently looking at the Space Engineers toolbox window. I've done a video on this before, so you might want to take a look there for some basic information. But for now, we're going to open the world that I just created that I will be using as a sample. Here it is, the SC toolbox, creating your own asteroids. That's the map. It's got absolutely nothing in it but the character here, which is currently located at these coordinates. But I'm just going to place him at the center, 150 coordinates up. I'm going to just quickly save it. So that's the new position for my... Uh, space engineers character. Now what we want to do is we want to import something. I'm going to click on import and first I'm going to show you the easiest thing to do and that is how you can import an image. Well there really isn't any easier to go about it than to click on image. I'm going to import an image. I'm going to browse for one and I'm thinking the best thing I can do to show you this is just import one of our uh, thumbnails and have a look how that turn turns out. Now what better to use than this beautiful sunrise that we have uh, which is from the uh, Space Engineers Weekly Mod Review video number three. Now we need to look at the size. Officially, or originally, the size of this thing is 1920 by 840 pixels. And basically what this thing will do is use one pixel per block. That would be a huge canvas, so we're going to reduce that a little bit. I'm just going to, let's say, 200 in the width. And that will be about, let's have a look. I need to calculate this properly. 110? 120, yeah, 120 in height. So that means that our canvas is going to be 200 blocks wide, 120 blocks high. I'm going to make it a small ship because a small ship has smaller blocks, and that means that it will be a little more detailed. Now, the coordinates for this item will be 0, 0, 0, and will be just above it. I'm going to click on uh, create, but before I do that, I'm just going to quickly show you this. This is where you can select either a large ship or a station and you can create it with light armor or heavy armor. So let's click on create and there it's imported. You see it right here, small ship um, with some basic information and the coordinates. Now we're going to save this. We're going to go into Space Engineers and just reload into our map. I have to say I'm already in the map right now but it is completely empty so if I would press F5 to reload it will reload me into the new game. And here we are in our new world with this very simple and easy thumbnail image into the game uploaded. It's very simple, it's a little bit pixelated, obviously it isn't the largest in size. Again, this is 200 by 120 blocks. Uh, you can make out the text in the bottom, uh, in the top, sorry, but not in the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can import images into your, into your Space Engineers. It is rather pointless, but it works. You can uh, copy the image and paste it if you want and create multiple but these will get laggy rather fast because they are a lot more blanks than you can imagine. Deleting them is just as easy. Control X, I'm gonna save the world with nothing in it again and reload the map and you can see it's been deleted. And now we go to the tricky part. We're going to be importing an asteroid that we have created ourselves. This would be done by clicking on import and you won't be clicking on asteroid. Instead, we're going to be clicking on 3D model. Very simple, you would say. It is, actually. Um, the hardest thing is the actual editing, but we'll get through that in a second. First, I'm going to show you some information about this, this window here. This is where you browse to the model that you have created. Now, we'll be doing that in a minute. Then you can select a type. You can import your model, not only as an asteroid, but you can also make it a station, a large ship, or a small ship. And that means that it will actually transfer or transform your image, your 3D created model, into something shaped by blocks. But we'd be, we'd be going for an asteroid for now. Now, a very important thing to note is that you can create the shell and the inside material. And that's very important. If you have a model that is solid, you could say, I want stone on the outside. These are just different colors. Stone 5, for example, is a moon-colored surface. 
and then you can go for gold inside for example. Now if you import a model you can select the size and the coordinates and the distance from the player. So let's go and create ourselves a model shall we because that's what this is all about. I use a freeware application called Blender. Very simple but also very very good. Now I'm not going to go into detail on how to create a model. I'll leave that for you to uh, find out yourself. Blender is a good program with lots of information on their Wikipedia. Again, it is free, so I definitely recommend that you get that. So here's a simple cube that uh, that I've created. Very simple, lot of lots of vertices that we can manipulate to uh, create this thing into a pretty model. So how about we do that? Now, there's one thing to note before we do that. Space Engineers hates flat surfaces, especially for asteroids. It does not like flat surfaces and it really warps the textures into uh, something that you don't want it to look like. So we're going to manipulate this thing a little bit so that it'll, it'll look like uh, uh, a little bit of an asteroid. So let us manipulate this thing. I'm just going to grab some vertices and uh, pull them out a little bit into uh, some random some random shapes and uh, make sure that this thing looks as non-blocky as possible. That's very important that we make this look like there's no flat surfaces because again, flat surfaces is something that Space Engineers does not like at all. That's something that you'll notice is very hard to hide sometimes when you're actually creating an arena uh, rather than an asteroid. Now you can see that this thing obviously is not looking anything like an asteroid, rather just a morph block, but that's absolutely fine. Space Engineers does add some rugged edges around it so you don't have to worry too much about the detail in the thing uh, as long as it has a roughly asteroid looking shape to it. Alright let's go with something like this. This thing looks nice and morphed. Now I want this thing to be a little bit smoother because you can see it's a little bit uh, a little bit blocky still so I'm gonna just quickly do that so at a subdivision surface here and make this thing a little bit smoother. There you go. Now it's actually a pretty little blob, as you can see. And we're going to save this thing. Um, we can export it as a OBJ wavefront file. That's something that works very well with Space Engineers. Again, if you're looking for uh, more information on Blender on how to use that, go and look at some YouTube videos for that or uh, check out the uh, uh, the, the Wikipedia for that. I don't want to go into detail too much for uh, Blender because it would just take too long. So here we are back in Space Engineers Toolbox. I'm going to import a 3D model. I need to remember where I placed them. Uh, asteroid sample, there it is. And now you can actually see here it's showing the model. Uh, you can rotate around it using your arrow keys like that. We're going to import this as an asteroid. The outside is going to be stone. The inside is going to be gold. Now how big do we want this to be? Because if I set it to scale multiple, multiply 1, that's the original scale, here you see it's going to be about 2 blocks wide, which is 2 meters. Now we don't want that, so we could go for multiply by 10, and it would be 27 meters. We don't want that. We want this thing, let's say, to be quite big. We want it to be 139 meters across. That's a good size. Again, I'm going to change the coordinates to 0, 0, 0 and I'm going to click on create. Importing models can take a while and this depends a lot on how large your model is and how large you're importing it. The bigger the thing is, the longer it'll take Space Engineers Toolbox to uh, convert the thing into uh, yeah, a usable format for the game. So it's been imported here, you can see it, you can see the mass which is 1.4 million square meter. I'm going to save this game, go into Space Engineers, hit F5 and load in and see what comes out. Here we have our beautiful asteroid. I hope you recognize the thing. This is exactly as we model it in game. Um, you can see all the blobs. It does add the rocky texture to it which is great because obviously it looks less like a model not by my own work but rather by the game itself. Here's a little surface that we accidentally created. But you can imagine the things you can do with this, right? This is a, a very cool thing to do. Now, before we close off, I'm just going to quickly show you 
uh, how to actually make a game map because obviously that's what we're trying to do. So I'm just going to go into Blender, delete this thing and add a new object, a new mesh. We'll make it a plane, very simple plane. Here you can see this is a flat surface. I'm going to create that to be a little bit larger and we're going to add this thing to um, yeah, make a very, very quick game map. It's not going to be detailed at all, um, but we want something, right? So I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do that exactly. Again, we have to remember that Space Engineers does not like flat edges. And it is very hard to make sure that you do not have flat flat edges. So, you know, I'm going to do my best here to uh, make it non-flat. But you'll find out that that is a lot harder than you think. Uh, this is not exactly going the way I want, but you can see that there's a lot of flat walls there that we're trying to get rid of. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to grab this stuff. Again, I'm just morphing it like that. Very simple stuff, right? If you would want to make this into a very detailed map, you need a lot more vertices. But I am just doing this very square quickly so it doesn't take too long to, uh, to import. We can create some mountains. You can also create a dip there, very simple. Now this could be your game app and you can make this thing as big as you want, but there's no need really to increase the size in your editing program. Instead, you can just do it in the editor. I'll create this as sample number two and we can start importing into Space Engineers. This time, let's say we want to just five across, uh, multiply by five, increase the uh, importing s speed there a little bit. And we reload into the game. And here you go, here's your map. I think we're actually underneath right now, or is this the top? No, that's underneath. So let's go up to the top there. Ta-da! You can see here that there's actually a, a couple uh, flat surfaces that demonstrates the uh, morphing, the warping of the textures. It doesn't work out, so you have to make sure that your model has enough ups and downs to make sure that it isn't flat. The game doesn't like flat. But here you have your own surface and it looks gorgeous. You can do whatever you want with this. Now this thing won't actually have a solid mass. I forgot to demonstrate that on the other one because this one is just a surface. It is flat. So you'll be able to poke a hole right through and there is nothing below it. And you can change that with your model, of course. When you're editing your model, you can make it as big as you want. And you can import as many of these little things as you want. Now, another thing I'll quickly show you is how you can uh, quickly make, let's say, uh, a space station with this. Let's add a couple meshes. Gonna add a cube here and add another one like that. Adding another one that's well, let's say a little bit bigger, sticking out like that, and we want a little oh, we want a hole in that one. We can do that. Can't we? Yes, we can. So we're going to just take out that hole. And you'll see that it is now hollow. And again, this is just very simple editing. Um, if you pick up a couple lessons, you'll be able to do this yourself very simply. Excellent. Now we have a little docking area there. You can extrude this one as well. So we have a little bay to land on, right? Excellent. Okay, here we're going to save this thing. And we call it station sample export open space engineers toolbox import 3D model import as a station uh, station and you can 
select a couple other things. Do you want a thin shell, a thick shell, and do you want it with smoothing or not? Smoothing basically means that it'll use curved slopes to make it very smooth. Now, we don't want that. We want it to be square, and we want it to be a thin uh, shell with light armor. How long, how big do we want this thing to be? Well, first we need to select a model, uh, station sample. Let's say we want this thing to be 20 meters across. Like, yeah, 20 meters should be big enough. Let's say 27 meters. Yeah, excellent. I'll put this thing at 0, 0, 0 and import. That goes a bit quicker because it is even smaller. And we F5. And here you have something that is very small, uh, obviously, but it's just to show you what you can do with it. Uh, let's have a look here. That's the small cube. The largest cube, another small cube in the side. And there we have our little docking bay that's created. Now, I did import it too small, so there isn't enough space, really. Um, the blocks are just too big for what I imported. But that's okay, right? You, you get the idea. This is very cool for quickly adding uh, something. Like if you wanted to very quickly import something in a certain shape, then you could do it in an editing program rather than in um, Space Engineers itself. Now there is some bugs because you can see this wall was left out even though the wall exists right here. It's actually that wall. Um, but for some reason that was left out. And that is again because it is a flat surface. So something that would actually help is adding a vertex there and pulling it out like that so it's no longer flat. But obviously that's not something you'd want with a space station, right? So guys, that are, there you have it. There really isn't anything more to it. Um, I'll sh quickly show you... This is the map that I used for the Moles Ship PvP Arena. Uh, you might not recognize it, but this is really all there is to it. Very simple. A couple of hills, a couple of walls, and it works. A couple of dents there. I'm actually uh, working on uh, a Moonlander game right now. I don't want to spoil it too much yet, but I think you'll enjoy it. It's going to be all about balancing your ship across um, a moon surface, and I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy that very much. Here's a canyon I was working on. Haven't used it, but uh, it is a bit more detailed. It's got some uh, under, like, uh, little tunnels there, as you can see. And again, the uh, possibilities with this are endless. You can do a lot with this, and uh, it's very simple when you get the hang of the, the editing. I can't model for shit, I'll be very honest with you, but creating a surface is, uh, is very easy. It's uh, as simple as grabbing a furtis, setting uh, your range to how big you want it, and just dragging across the screen until you're, uh, you're happy with what you're seeing. I mean, I just created a hill while I was talking to you. That's how simple it is. I don't think you can uh, disagree with me on that. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. It, it yeah, maybe took a little long to explain what uh, what's going on here, but it is so simple. All you need to do is learn to use uh, an editing program, and I really do suggest using Blender because it is so simple and it does exactly what you want. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, will be coming to you with another weekly mods review video this coming Wednesday, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. And yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be able to show you that Moonlander video uh, uh, very soon with uh, a mini game downloadable on the Steam Workshop. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too lengthy. Uh, and if it was too lengthy, I hope you skipped through. And make sure you like the video if you thought this was helpful. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you'd be looking uh, for more videos like this. If you haven't seen any of my videos yet, go and have a quick browse if you're uh, having some time. I think you'll enjoy them very much. And I'm going to wish you a great night. Thanks for watching once more and have a great week. Bye!